Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to embed a video that's hosted on the Amazon S3 hosting service. So just to give you a quick overview, or a quick introduction to Amazon S3 if you never heard of it, it is, the S3 is short for Simple Storage Service. And all it really does, or all it is, is a hard drive up in the cloud where you can store whatever you like and in this case you're going to store videos. There is a cost associated with using Amazon S3. It's quite hard to find the pricing. You actually go, you go to the pricing tab and then you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. You'd think it'd be right here under pricing, but it's not. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom and then select Amazon S3 again and then you get to the pricing page. For the first terabyte of video transfer or any content transfer per month you pay three cents per gigabyte. Now just to put that in perspective, the average YouTube video, if it's just average quality, not high definition, average quality, is probably going to be around 20 to 30 megabytes for up to 10 or 20 minutes of content. And a gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes. So you can have a whole lot of video transferred for only three cents. So it, it's really cost effective and what it also is is really scalable. So you, it's on the same level as, as YouTube and Vimeo, Amazon S3 and their web services. It's the same servers and same hard drives they run Amazon, the website on. So you know that it's, that it's very secure for one and it can handle a whole lot of traffic. So if you have a video that you think is going to be viewed a whole lot of times and you don't want your site suffering from using too much bandwidth if you upload it to your own server and you also don't want to have it on YouTube or Vimeo just in case it's somehow the privacy doesn't work and it goes public, you can use Amazon S3. An additional benefit of Amazon S3 is you can cause video links or create video links that expire. So you can say this video is available for the next two weeks and that's it and it can automatically expire. It, you can even set it so it, it expires with the user session. So if you send a link to a video to someone, they can't pass it around. If they go and view it, it logs their session when they're there, and that video is set to only allow one session, and then nobody else can see it after that, which is pretty cool. But that's enough dilly-dally. I'm going to show you how this actually works. So I'm using Firefox right now and there's a plugin called S3 Fox Organizer. And of course I've already set up an Amazon S3 account at this point. They're free to set up and you only pay for the bandwidth you use. So it's, and, and again, three cents per gigabyte of transfer. It doesn't get much cheaper than that. But once you're in there, I recommend using this Firefox plugin because the web interface is quite confusing. But once you have your Amazon S3 or, or S, S3 Fox Organizer plugin in Firefox, all you have to do, I'm just going to delete this video, all you have to do is on the left hand side, you browse to the folder where your video exists. On the right hand side, you open what's called a bucket, or you create a bucket. I created a new one just now called WPLL for WP Learning Lab. Now these buckets, they are shared throughout all of Amazon. All of Amazon S3 users can create these buckets so your name that you choose for it might already be taken because you have millions of people who are creating buckets to, to store their content but it's all running on the same server system so you can't have duplicate names. So you may find that your, your name is taken. Don't worry it's not somebody who hacked into your account or anything. It's because we're all sharing the same infrastructure and we can't have redundant bucket names. So if we find our video on the left and we're ready to upload it, we just click on it, make sure it's highlighted, click on upload. So down here you see the progress and once it's uploaded, you can, we have to edit the ACL in a second, but I'll, I'll just show you first what happens when you don't edit the ACL so that if you get the error I'm about to show you, you'll know why you got that error and then you can fix it. So all you have to do to embed this into your WordPress site is copy URL to clipboard Go to your WordPress site, create a post or a page, make a title, maybe you already have a title, 
call mine Amazon S3 Embed. Click on Add Media. On the left hand side, or it may have rearranged depending which version of WordPress you're using, but somewhere there's going to be an option to insert from URL. And you just press or you just paste what you just copied your clipboard. So this is the URL to that video. And here it shows a screen, well, a little preview of the video. And if you're happy with that, click on Insert to Post on the bottom right. And it has the embed code and everything ready to rock and roll. So we can click on Publish. We can click View Post and see the error that we get. We click on Play. And as you can see, the video is not actually loading. All we get is the spinning play bar. It's not actually showing the error that I thought it would. What it, what it often says is this video can't be played in this location because of permissions and it's going to be small white text across the middle and just a noise, like TV noise in the background, the gray and white specks that, sh that show up when there's noise. So in order to fix that, in order to make this video play, we have to go back to our S3 Fox organizer. We have to right click on the video, click on Edit ACL. And for the read column, make sure there are no X's. And then click OK. Now when we reload the page, we should be able to see this video. And there it is. It's not a very exciting video, it's just a short little demo video that I use for these videos for creating these screen captures. But that is how you embed Amazon S3. And there's even a, a shorter way. I showed you how to embed using media and then insert by URL. You can actually just paste the URL into WordPress. You have to make sure it's on its own line so you can have text above and then text below and then just paste the URL to the video in between and that will also you, you or you, uh, WordPress will recognize that as a video because of the MP4 at the end and that will also work so you don't actually have to use the embed it's better to use it just because it has the short code for the embedding the video player but you don't need it as you can see the video loaded just fine just by pasting the URL into WordPress without the embed code so in this video, you saw how to embed an Amazon S3 hosted video. And again, my name is Bjorn Alpass. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you. Please make sure that you subscribe and follow and visit our website, wplearninglab.com, where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.